Today we're going to look at how to solve direct proportion problems. So let's do a quick review. Direct proportion can be written as y equals kx. And we could actually take this and we could solve it for k, which is our constant of proportionality. And so we could solve this by taking and dividing both sides by x. So we could also see it represented as k equals y divided by x. Now, if we have two situations that we're looking for, if we know one situation completely, we can put them equal to each other since we know that the constant would be the same. So we can denote these by just sub ones and sub twos. And what we can do is we can cross multiply these. And so we would get this y sub 1 times x sub 2 equals x sub 1 times y sub 2. Now this is just a fancy way of finding the cross product. And one thing that to notice is that the cross products are equal. That is always going to be true if you have a true statement here. So let's take a look at a specific example. Let's say that you have uh, you go to a store and you pay $90 for five shirts. Now let's assume that the cost and the uh, number of shirts uh, ha is directly proportional. They're, they're directly proportional to each other. So we want to then find what the cost would be for nine shirts. So let's start by taking a look at um, this concept of cost divided by the number of shirts. We can we know that because of the setup here. This proportion is k equals the cost, which we're calling y divided by our number of t-shirts, which we're calling x. So we see that 90 divided by 5 equals so if we have cost here and shirts here, then what we can say is we want to find the cost, so we can just use C, divided by the number of shirts. Now then what we can do is we can cross multiply, and we know that the cross products are equal to each other. So we can say 90 times 9 is, 9 times 9 is 81, add a 0 equal to 5 times c, which is just 5c. We can divide both sides by 5. And 810 divided by 5 is $162. So we can see then that 9 shirts will cost $162. Now there's one other way we can approach this, and that is by finding our constant of proportionality first, and then uh, using that in order to write an equation for the, the second part. So let's use this same example. So we're going to start by finding k, which is our constant. So we have y equals kx. Again, let's let the cost be y. And let's let the x be the number of shirts. So we know that we got, we paid $90 for five shirts. So we can come and solve this equation, divide both sides by five, and we get that the constant is $18. Really what this says is that for every shirt, we are paying $18. So then what we could do is we could create an, an equation that says y equals 18 x where we can plug in any number of shirts now and find the cost. So in this particular case, we want to know how many or how much it'll cost if we were to purchase nine shirts. And so we can say 18 times 9 is $162. So again, it points back up to nine shirts will cost $162. So hopefully this video was helpful, helpful to you. Uh, thank you for watching.